So my first video didn't record properly um, the sound. So here it goes, second version. Um, Colombia is a lot of fun to watch. When they're on, they're on, and it is really a sight to behold. And um, took them a while to get started today, but once they got started, uh, it was a cool thing to see. As I said, uh, the game started. I think there were two injuries on Colombia. It seemed to be a little bit scrappy, especially the goalkeeper Spina. I was a little bit worried about that he might have to be substituted early, which would have put a damper on Colombian hopes. Um, but then they slowly got a handle on the game. At first, I thought Poland looked a little bit more threatening. But as the first half wore on, Colombia got better. And the latest, when Cuadrado made the slalom through the box uh, not finding the goal there um, it was the game was on and then the corner was a nice well practiced uh, variation of a corner kick uh, the pass Bahamas that chip wonderfully ex executed right in the sweet spot where the goalkeeper doesn't know what to do, especially when you have two defenders rushing on, got caught the goalkeeper off guard, uh, was a thing of beauty. Uh, also to have him that free there. So really liked uh, that goal already. Uh, Poland then came out, tried to stave off um, elimination. Lewandowski finally got his chance and I know many people in Poland will blame all on, Le on Lewandowski, but yeah, you gotta get Lewandowski in play. If you don't have it in play, you're not having a chance. It's as simple as that. And he, today he got two or three chances, uh, but you know, uh, they were not great. He was hanging in the air like Messi did for Argentina, if not more so, because Messi really tried to get a thing going. Uh, Lewandowski is a pure striker, so um, don't expect too much from him in, on the playmaking department. That's on other players. And yeah, Poland is a disappointment. I'm not a big expert on the Polish soccer in general but being the first European side to be eliminated and you have been a top seed I know they used the uh, FIFA rating well to uh, their advantage, advantage so uh, they knew what they were doing but it still it doesn't feel quite right and Poland proved to be exactly the type of European team that I don't want to see at the World Cup and that I always complain about those well organized although Poland was not that well organized but you know just not fast a little bit sluggish um, trying to make the game slow and you have to ask yourself as Poland um, the first game you lost because of one deflection and one weird defensive error where everything just came together against you so you've actually felt already quite deflated and then you get into a Colombian team that needs the win and really got it going. So after Poland tried to make a few chances, uh, Colombia turned it on, Falcao scored um, a nice counter tackle, which was again a nice passing move from, po uh, from Colombia. Um, finally made his goal for a striker who was already a great striker five years ago even more. It's kind of a little bit of not disappointing but you know I really feel for him not scoring sooner because of injury for the head of the 2014 World Cup and I really wonder what Colombia would have done if they had a Falcao in great form I think he was in better form then than he was than he is now and then James made the pass of, pass of the tournament I mean setting Cuadrado behind the center line a cross pass across the field and Cuadrado is on the way to goal against his clubmate uh, Chesney and Colombia never looked back. There uh, was a little bit of scare with the goalkeeper when they had exhausted their uh, exchanges and for a second there I thought if really Ospina has to go out um, might this be a chance if there's a field player in goal for um, Poland to pull one or two back but I quickly thought well Colombia is playing very well and they have the game well in control even if they would have given up one I don't think it would have been more and yeah Colombia basically killed off the game and Poland is home. 
Columbia still to play for and I actually like Columbia's chances against Senegal. Um, what I didn't say in the last video is that Senegal looked a little bit sloppy. Organized but sloppy. Um, and that is typically for an African team and I think Colombia will take advantage of that. Speaking of that, I really hope that this matchup is Colombia in yellow and Senegal in green, but I know it will be white against blue. And yeah, that's what we got today too. We had the classic Poland kit, which I actually like and it makes so much sense. It's simple. It's in a way a classic European <laughs> layout, a white shirt with red shorts, but it makes so much sense. It's the Polish flag. And for that, I really like it. The blue Columbia jersey is probably getting some use to, especially the orange in there. Um, yeah, I know Colombia wore orange for a long time, so they pay homage to the past. Um, but I don't like the weird um, black striping along the crest. It just clutters up the side too much. The crest. You don't see the crest. Uh, but overall, it's a nice kit. I actually, at first, I thought if it wouldn't have the pattern, it would probably be one of my favorite Adidas kits uh, at this World Cup. So, yeah. White versus blue matchup with some red thrown in. I cannot complain about that matchup. I think it looks nice. Um, today we got actually quite some nice matchups. I think that Japan Senegal is still my favorite, although Senegal could have done more. But having a little bit of blue versus some green, that's very rarely seen. Uh, the England matchup probably being the more boring one, and that's the, uh, because of Panama. Uh, the England kids really sweet and nice looks very classy i uh, totally love it the columbia kit is something different it adds some splash i wish the orange was a little bit more orange it looked almost pinkish on the tv but overall uh no complaints about that and they're trying something different and now as i said i like my chance i like columbus chances against senegal and it remains to be seen yeah one african team should make it has been doing so since 1986 and yeah, me wearing Argentina, I know it will be Nigeria, uh, despite the good record. Uh, and I think that Senegal will probably get eliminated by Colombia. But the games are still to play. I'm really looking forward to the Colombia Senegal. That's that's uh, really that will be an exciting game to watch. Well, let me know what you thought, what do you think about how the tournament will go. I'll give you tomorrow a little roundup of the first 32 games. We are halfway, halfway through, and it's one and a half weeks now. So yeah, I will talk to you soon with more. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.